Hi, I'm Paula Becker. And I'm Alan Stein, and we're staff historians for HistoryLink.org. We're also co-author of the new book, The Future Remembered, the 1962 Seattle World's Fair and its Legacy. And we are so happy to be here at the 2012 Northwest Folklife Festival because the theme of the Folklife Festival this year is the next 50, which is celebrating the World's Fair, talking about what the next 50 years of Seattle Center should be like. Alan and I curated an exhibit here for Mohai that's in the International Fountain Pavilion. It's pretty exciting to be here at Seattle Center, which was the fairgrounds for the 1962 Seattle World's Fair. It's a great place to enjoy the kind of food and um, exciting international activities, sort of like we had during the fair, and think about 50 years ago and, and uh, where Seattle was and where we are today. So why don't you come on in and we'll see some of the exhibits that are on display here in our World's Fair exhibit. What you're looking at here is the original countdown clock that was used for the fair uh, that counted down the days, hours, minutes, and seconds. Uh, this was started by Eisenhower and it broke the day the fair opened. And of course, in front of the countdown clock, we just saw Elvis Presley. Elvis was at the fair. He filmed It Happened at the World's Fair on the fairgrounds. Bucket from the sky ride that was here in the 1962 Seattle World's Fair, that bucket traveled above the fountain. People could ride from one side of the fairgrounds to the other. After the fair, it went down to the Puyallup Fair, and we're just so lucky that they let us borrow it for this exhibit. I think it's going to be a lot of fun for people who rode on it during the fair to see it here again. This part of the exhibit is the Future on Exhibit, which shows some of the futuristic aspects of the World's Fair. Uh, over to our right we have the original control panel for the monorail. Uh, you can kind of see how dated that looks today, but at the time it was very spiffy, very futuristic. <laughs> and then over here in the corner is the uniform that was worn by one of the bubbleator operators. Uh, the bubbleator was in the uh, Coliseum during the fair, later moved to the center house, but during the fair, uh, this man wearing this uniform would invite a hundred people into the bubbleator, a century of people, and he would tell them to step to the rear of the sphere. And as they got off in the top of the display, he'd say, welcome to the future, we all have to go there sometime. So one of the cool things that happened at the Seattle World's Fair was that there was a fashion pavilion with fashion shows showing modern American apparel designed with uh, really terrific fabrics that were easy to care for. We have many of the fashions that were modeled at those, uh, at those fashion shows here in the Museum of History and Industries exhibit here on Seattle Center grounds. This especially is really amazing. This is a dress that's made out of fabric that was specifically manufactured to show what the fairgrounds looked like. And someone bought this fabric sewed it on their home sewing machine, just like you can see here. We've got an ex uh, example of a 1962 sewing machine that somebody might have sewn this very dress on. And we also have uniforms from the fair, so anybody who might have worked on the fairgrounds, you might see your uniform on here. Really a lot of fun. I've even got a little 1962 pin here. I try to uh, wear a few things from the fair if I can when I'm talking about our book, The Future Remembered, and the exhibit here that Mohai sponsored. For the fair, there were a lot of novelty songs that were recorded. And in the exhibit, we have some of them that you can actually listen to. You can press these buttons. And here's Seattle, USA by the Harmonaires, Gateway Twist by the Frantics, Attilio Minio conducting Man in Space with Sounds, and the Lancer singing See You in Seattle at the Fair, and so on. Uh, we also have a few album covers on display. Twist at the fair, to the, the summer of 1962. The Twist was a very popular dance at that time. And we have uh, some of the albums that were on display, including the popular Canadian Tattoo, which was a performance that was done during the fair in Memorial Stadium. I think if anybody remembers one big thing about this fair, they might remember Elvis Presley filming a neat, uh, movie here. He actually signed so many autographs. I had somebody tell me he signed her hand because she didn't have anything for him to write on. He really made a big splash here at the Seattle World's Fair. One of the really great parts of this exhibit is the souvenirs. I'll tell you, people collect Seattle World's Fair souvenirs like crazy, and I've almost never been to a garage sale or an estate sale here where I haven't seen one or another. Something that's really tangible memory, and we have cases 
full of souvenirs here at the Mohai exhibit at Seattle Center. This exhibit is going to be open all the way through October 21st. It's free, it's fun, it's colorful, so come on down.